beautiful bastards. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. And before we jump straight into it, thank you. About 30 seconds before yesterday's video went live, we passed 4 million subscribers. Even more remarkable is that 400,000 of you have come in the past 60 days. But still, thank you to the long timers and the newcomers. That said, let's jump into the first story of the day. And the first thing we're going to talk about today, the most requested story of the day, hits close to home. One of the big topics on YouTube, other than YouTube drama, has been false copyright claims. Someone didn't like what you said, so they go, hey, you used my image, you used my footage, yeah, I'm gonna take your video down. I mean, potential copyright abuse on this website is a huge deal. That's why I started and helped raise $168,000 for H3H3 Productions. But the most recent story of a video being pulled down is a little bit muddy. And one of the most recent examples of this involves one of the biggest YouTubers of 2016, Rice Gum. Rice Gum, if you don't know his content, he posts a bunch of videos where he roasts people. Jokes, critiques, whatever. And the target of his most recent roast video was a little girl by the name of Alabama Barker. And I'm not gonna judge you if you don't know who she is. In fact, they probably feel more comfortable if you don't because she is a 10-year-old girl on Instagram. And the other thing of note about her is that she is the 10-year-old daughter of Travis Barker, Blink-182 drummer. So Rice Gum makes a video, he makes some jokes and comments about her appearance, and then some things happen. First, the daughter's mom tweets at Rice Gum, wow, you just roasted my 10-year-old daughter on your pathetic channel. You have nothing better to do than tear down a kid? Rice Gum responding, 10-year-old's mom tweeted at me, your daughter wanna act like an adult, she's gonna get treated like one, lol. The daughter's mom tweeting back, you're gonna get treated like a an adult too. Thanks for hurting a kid and for sending your ignorant ass fans to do more damage. You now have a devastated 10 year old who's being verbally attacked. There aren't enough assholes in Hollywood for you to shit on. My kids don't have what you would consider a normal upbringing. You should be fing ashamed of yourself, you judgmental asshole. End rant. The only people taking an L today are kids being cyber bullied on a daily basis. So awesome, all your fans are telling a 10 year old to die to drink bleach and threatening her life. Awesome blog, bro. Great work. Then Travis Barker jumped on Instagram tweeting a picture of Rice Gum with the caption This lame is about to take the biggest an L in history. I'll make sure to videotape it so he can post it on his YouTube. Any leads on where this pedophile lives, please DM me. He then updated that picture to say, see you in Vegas, Rice. And then I imagine because Rice Gum fans started jumping on his Instagram, he made his Instagram private. But somehow that's not where it ended. Rice Gum's video on Travis Barker's daughter has been removed. It was taken down by a company that seems to have connections to Travis Barker and has given Rice Gum a strike against his account. Which, if you don't know about the ecosystem of YouTube, if Rice Gum were to receive two more strikes, his account would be shut down. And as far as my opinion on it, there's no winning with this story. The first is that as a father, I would try to be able to maintain some cool, but I might blow up like Travis Barker did. Someone's talking shit about my kid, I might lose it. But at the same time, should she be unmonitored and unregulated on Instagram? Although on that note of people saying the Instagram was unregulated, Travis Barker in previous interviews said this. For them, they don't see any harm in it. They're like, oh, I went to the beach, I'm going to take a picture. Oh, I went to a dance class, I'm going to take a picture. I don't believe in sheltering your kids, so when they turn 18 and you unleash them, they don't know what's up. My kids have been on tour with me since two. They're more street smart than most kids, and it's good. As long as you regulate your kids Instagram it's cool but also adding do I check them all the time and regulate there are creeps I've got guys going like I'm so in love with your daughter and even the same with my boy just weirdos she was posting on the site when she was nine years old according to Instagram terms of service she shouldn't even be on it until she's 13 but does that also make it okay for a grown man to make fun of a 10 year old girl to his audience of millions that's another big question with this story but not the last one the last one is is there a valid copyright claim against what rice gum did in this video or is it just another example of the copyright system being abused on YouTube where someone goes, hey, I don't like that you use that image that I put out there into the public world, even if the use could be described as news or critique or uh, transformative in nature. And I'm not going to say I think the video should have been taken down, but if they did try and take this video down, I would have rather they went through the route of saying that this is bullying or harassing. Because with copyright coming into play, it's going to muddy the waters. And once again, it's a hard situation because if I was Travis Barker, I'd probably lose it. But as an outsider, one, I personally don't agree with a 9 to 10 year old having unmonitored, unregulated social media access, especially when our existence on Instagram is already against terms of service. And also, if you've ever watched Rice Gum, he didn't really attack her in this video. To paraphrase, his entire video was, oh wow, she posts a lot about like meeting celebrities and having money, and oh wow, she has she wears a lot of makeup, and wow, this 10-year-old doing Instagram model butt poses, that makes me feel uncomfortable. So I'm still gestating, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but I pass the question on to you. What do you think about this situation? Do you think Rice was wrong? Travis Barker and his ex-wife, were they wrong? Both? I'd love to know what you think and why. That's it. I also want to know what Rice Gum was going to do next, what he would say to the people that said that he shouldn't have done this. So him up so he could share his thoughts. All right, I know that you uh, you got to rush into a bunch of stuff. I wanted to ask uh, two questions. Uh, the first was that, <laughs> thank you for your dance. Uh, the first <laughs> was that, uh, you know, the, the, the specific copyright claim, it's not a, a guideline, it's not a harassment. Are you putting in a counterclaim? Do you think you'll win? I mean, it's Travis Barker who has a lot of money who probably would be fine with taking you to court. Would you go that far? Um, well, just to answer the first question, I did uh, submit a counterclaim because it was it was a false claim if you guys watched my video 
Uh, it was taken down due, uh, due to copyright reasons, and there was like nothing copyrighted at all in the video. I used like public Instagram posts, and I just like added my commentary to it. So everything falls under fair use, and it makes no sense how they like copyrighted me. It's so stupid. But uh, taking to court, I'm honestly not sure yet. I mean, if I don't get my video back, that is quite annoying, and I mean, we'll just have to see. <laughs> uh, and then number two was, I, I've seen some of the comments. Uh, what do you say to the people that that say that, you know, it's wrong that you're targeting a 10-year-old for a video even if you go light on her. Um, is there like a certain age that's okay? What do you think about that? Uh, just, I don't know, well, okay, so first off, if she doesn't want to get criticized, then maybe she shouldn't be on Instagram, like, publicly. But uh, if you were to watch the video, it wasn't like me trying to target her if you guys were to watch it. It was super, just super chill, just for, it was really funny. Uh, it was just, I saw a 10-year-old, she had a lot of makeup on, taking pictures, like posing in weird ways, and I was like, okay, I can make a funny video about it. I like, I was more targeting like who let this happen, like her parents, like why is she on Instagram, stuff like that. Like, I, like, so I wasn't trying to like harm the ten year old or whatever. It was just for a funny video. But yeah, I mean, I just felt like she shouldn't be on Instagram. I just made a video. So if you uh, if you end up having a, a rice gum junior, no Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no Instagram till like twenty. Twenty. Okay. All right. Good age. <laughs> 18 to 20 is going to be hard to enforce, but I get that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, man. Yeah, homie. Dude. And from there, I want to share some stuff I love today. And today, and awesome, brought to you by the Sports Shirt. Three days.